Hi. Welcome, welcome all. Hope you're having a wonderfully blessed day. Welcome to my Holy Spirit channel. Um, we love Jesus. He's our Lord and Savior. Okay, so I wanted to talk about a bunch of things. I've been having all these dreams and revelations lately so I wanted to just do all one video I don't want to do a bunch of little videos so I'm just gonna I kind of just compiled everything in one video okay so all right so uh, I found out um, July 12 I woke up from this dream and in my dream uh, martial law was getting ready to be declared and, I, and in my dream, I saw people starting to head up to the mountains and like out in the wilderness. And I saw people learn uh, leaving USA. They were like leaving out to the wilderness and they knew things would get really bad here. So I saw people starting to leave. Okay. Um, what I got from that dream was that like a lot of Christians think that Babylon in the book of Revelation is a city and God says like in Revelation 18 4 come out of her my people but these um, I believe that it's being misunderstood because I think Babylon is in Revelation and it's not a city it's a fallen church I might be wrong you guys but God is warning his people to come out of his fallen church so they don't um, share in her sins. That's how I got it, okay? Um, there's like a pattern in the Bible that we should look, you know, concerning this issue of fleeing to the mountains. You know, um, the pattern, where did God leave the Israelites to from Egypt? The wilderness. What did God do with Lot and his family? He called them out of the city of Sodom. Where did John the Baptist spend most of the days? In the wilderness. What did Jesus tell the people in Matthew 24 to do? Flee from Jerusalem into the mountains. And what does Revelation 12 say? The church did between 538 1798 during the roman catholic church persecution they fled into the wilderness and it's just the ongoing you know I, i'm starting to see this pattern arise that a lot of this is all in history you know everything and and history repeating itself okay so that's how i interpret that dream okay it had to do with revelation 18 4. all right so July 13, I had another dream. I heard a voice saying over and over again, the things of this world are getting ready to fade away. That's what I kept hearing. And I saw um, I saw all these people up and down, running up and down the street, like unrest and martial law. Um, people were fighting among themselves about race and religion. And then I woke up, okay? And um, let me see. Let me get the scripture for this. But the... Uh, I just... It had to do with... You see, all this chaos and turmoil. I'm trying to find you... Uh, wait a minute. About... The world... Fading away. I'm trying to find that scripture so I can tell you which scripture it is. Oh, here it is. It's uh, John 2.17. Okay, let me see if I can find the KJV version here. Because that's what I like reading. Oh, gosh. They only had NIV. Okay, well, we'll go here. All right. So I'm going to read this. It's in 1 John 2.17. Oh, it's, it's in my... I love it. Complete Jewish Bible. Okay. So... Hold on a second. Okay, it says, And the world is passing away along with its desire, but whoever does God's will remains forever. Okay? So this is what my dream is 
these two dreams this is like the message that's in it okay um, and that's even in scripture you guys first John 2 17 because it says right here in my dream I wrote it down and the voice I kept hearing over says the things of this world are getting ready to fade away and in KJV it says and the world passes away and the lust thereof but he that does the will of God abideth forever and in the complete Jewish ver uh, Bible let me see I just that was the first one I read which I like to read too and the world is passing away along with its desire desires but whoever does God's will remain forever amen Jesus we love Jesus okay so I felt those two dreams were biblical okay all right so July 11th it was been really weird you guys and God is just so awesome and so merciful merciful and, and I just thank God and he is preparing us and I say this because yesterday someone came by and dropped a lot of food off at my house and and also a case of electrolytes and every day for two weeks straight at least one person a day has brought and dropped off food at my home my residence even people are being put in place and people who are saved it's like everybody's doing assignments for the Lord right now because he's in behind the working behind the scenes so so um, so people can be warned in advance you know they're putting people in in place with saved people you know so that way they're being warned and being gospel to and the Lord is using people right now in a mighty mighty way um, you Christians out there when you look out there if you're really noticing it is happening okay so the next thing was some hidden revelations oh this was so intense okay so I I saw that um, I saw a report July 14 stating that Trump Donald Trump likely um, VP will be Mike Pence from Indiana and he's a, a a born again Christian he's a, a God fearing man and immediately I thought Trump Pence sounds like trumpets just let that sink in for a minute you know then say it real fast Trump Pence Trump Pence trumpet okay and I'm just gonna say this right now because it seems like a lot of Christians are um, their salvation is misplaced the, let me repeat this the only one that we should be looking for salvation of any kind is Christ all others are liars and deceivers all politicians say what they think you want to hear and some do what Lucifer tells them because the Holy Spirit doesn't dwell in their heart okay if we are a citizen of the kingdom then we should be gathered more citizen for his kingdom and be aware of signs and focus on God you know to me Trump is only a symbol of a soon return of the Messiah to rapture the church and there is at least 17 verses in the Bible that speaks about trumpets and I heard the trumpets myself in a rapture dream and it was very very vivid saints and uh, the Lord led me to this scripture 1 Corinthians 15 52 you know I think right now that the Lord is just using Trump as a symbol okay um, he's using him as a symbol as soon as the return of Messiah like I said in 1st Corinthians 15 52 it says in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump for the trumpets shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed you know how it says at the last trump that's a big clue right there the rapture is imminent okay there's a double meaning 
it could mean like Trump, Donald Trump, because all this stuff with him, with his last name. That might be a symbol of that. The rapture's imminent because, I mean, this has a double meaning right here in this 1 Corinthians 15.52. In a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last Trump. Like maybe because this is going to be the last election, he could be, you know, the election could be taken away from Trump. Or let's say he gets voted, but then there was some kind of civil war. You don't know, okay? We don't know. The Lord knows. But I just found that really interesting that instead of saying the last trumpet, it says, at the last Trump. Okay? And Trump could be like a signal, you know, like a symbol for that. Um, you know, in Exodus 14, Moses held out his staff. And the Red Sea was parted. And the Israelites walked on dry land and crossed the sea with the Egyptian army after them. Okay? And I just... This was a revelation I had because a lot of you guys know that um, I had this dream about uh, these planets um, that were in our in our solar system, and I was being shown um, this big red planet just out of nowhere, you know. And um, I just thought that was really interesting um, that. What I was focused on that dream, um, if you guys follow my channel, is this, there was this huge, huge red planet that was right in front of us, on, in front of the Earth. And it was right above us, like at an angle, okay? And when you looked up, you just saw this huge, gigantic planet right there in our face, okay? And I even drew a picture of... It was like... I'm going to show you real quick. Um, this is what I saw here. I was on Earth... And right above us was this huge planet, okay? Um, that's what I saw from the Earth. It was just like right above. There was our moon right there. There was another planet there. There was like a total of seven planets, okay? And, um, I, you know, this is how I saw it when I was in space. In that dream, okay? So I just wanted to show you that. Okay. Well, what the revelation was... If there was like that word red, like in Red Sea when he parted the Red Sea. Now we got a this red star because this planet's a red star, okay? It's a planet, but it's a red star. And um, I, I've just found it really interesting that um, all uh, you know that we had a red that Moses parted the Red Sea and that's how the Lord was able to get the Israelites out of Egypt you know and just as a like and just like as that like that happened and all those Egyptian armies got wiped out when the sea came crumbling down there's a, a catastrophe ominously looming on our horizon you know, Planet X, Nubiru, Wormwood, you know, a.k.a. Wormwood, that's what it's called. Planet X, they call it Nubiru, uh, Wormwood, um, they call it the Red Star, the Red Destroyer, the Red Dragon. It has so many different names, but it's all one thing. And it's a huge planetary body or star that's heading our way, and it's right here anyways. We just can't see it, but it's... Uh, like in Alaska, they've been seeing it. In Australia, certain countries, they have been seeing it. It's, but they're just controlling the heck of our skies with clouds that we can't see because they're hiding this. It's its own binary solar system with seven planets. Like in my dream, I saw seven planets. I didn't know about that. But it actually had seven planets. In Revelation 8, 10 script 10 through 11 it says and the third angel sounded and there fell a great star from heaven burning as it was a lamp and the name of the star is called wormwood and many men died okay and i just find that really interesting and in how there's a lot of correlation there with the red sea and now we got a red star first you know we had this coming out of the sea now we got this out of the the celestial bodies uh, in space you know if you know i'm starting to see how the lord uses a lot of history um 
the Egyptians knew this star, okay? And you notice how in the Moses, um, Moses time, it was the Egyptian army they were trying to get away from the Pharaoh and his army and the Egyptians. Okay, well, the Egyptians knew this star as Cyrus, okay? As Dagon, the dog star, and worshipped it under its guise as Anubis, the jackal-headed god. From its name were also derived the name of the chief deities of the Egyptian religion and culture, Osiris, the lord of the underworld, and Isis, the star goddess. Okay, and I, I just feel like we're going similar. It, I mean, see the similarities here. Again, this, this red star, the Egyptians, it all their, um, their doctrines and and their religion has to do heavily with this red star okay and this dark star is on a collision course with earth i truly believe it you know but we don't know but this the way the bible interprets that in in revelations when i read it sure seems like it okay so anyways i wanted to talk about um 555 the video i made um the symbolism behind it all right get this you guys Okay, so I want to start off with my video. If you haven't seen, check it out. It was I had to do with a five five five. At least I have been seeing five five five, and I was having dreams and stuff. Okay, so I wanted to talk about Dallas. I, I made that my video on five 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 March twenty eight twenty sixteen. Okay, so way before um, this Dallas situation happened. Okay, so in Dallas, where five police officers were killed, the address was 555 South Lamar, Dallas, Texas. That was amazing. Okay, Dallas, Texas. I can't believe that. Okay, um, and then five cops were killed. What I found was weird was all the men I spoke about in that dream are no longer in the race. And then I spoke about Cruz with five prostitutes. Because Cruz was from Texas. And the five prostitutes that were with them, to me, reminded me of the five policemen murdered in a swift attack, like I said in it. I talked about 555, five, five, meaning swift attack. I... I a bad omen, a bad uh, a warning, a prophetic warning. Um, it was in my 555 video. So that has been coming to place. Um, another thing I found really interesting, okay, with this uh, situation that's happening in Nice where uh, people were attacked. Well, the, and the address is right there by the Eiffel Tower. And get this, the Eiffel Tower address. It's Champ de Mars, 5 Avenue, Anatoly, France, 75007, Paris, France. And that occurred on 7-14-2016. But if you look at the date, 7-14, that would be three sevens, seven seven seven. So I found that really interesting, okay? Like they say, you know, order out of chaos in Latin, ordo aba keo, a slogan of the 33rd degree of Freemason. So let's talk about the attack in Nice. The truck crashes into a crowd celebrating Bastille Day. Now, I just found this really interesting that on July 14, 1789 was the day that Parisian Re revolutionaries and the mutinous troops storm and dismantle the Bastille, a royal fortress that had come to symbolize the tyranny of the Bourbon monarchs. And this is dramatic action signaled the beginning of the French Revolution, a decade of the political turmoil and terror in which King Louis the 16th was overthrown and ten thousands of people 
including the king and his wife, Marie Antoinette, were executed. And this symbolizes to me another revolt. A civil war will take place. And this isn't a coincidental thing. It's not a coincidence. There was a clear, concise message if you know your history, okay? Now, if you know about the French Revolution, you know about the Reign of Terror, which is really funny because today is July 15, and at 7 p.m. there's going to be a, it's called the Day of Rage, which I found is weird, um, and a coincidental. Reign of Terror, that's what was, um, going on with the French Revolution. There was a period called the Reign of Terror, a period of remorseless repression or bloodshed. Did you hear that? Remorseless. You know, look at that. Repression or bloodshed. I kid you not, you guys. The Reign of Terror, the period of terror during the French Revolution, aimed at destroying all alleged pockets of resistance to the revolution. Thousands were sent to the guillotine, and this happened between September 5th of 1793 to July 27th, 1794. Okay, look at the similarities right there. That is amazing. Um, so those were a bunch of my revel, my uh, hidden knowledge, hidden revelations, dreams um, that the Holy Spirit led me up to okay um it's just the ongoing things i just love jesus so much i love the holy spirit i love my god jehovah um god you know he just warns his people he loves us so much he's just trying to warn us and he wants us to just be ready you know and i'm just going to tell you guys listen to what the holy spirit is saying because a lot of people go they always say and write this to me all the time. How come the Lord, I always ask him, you know, and the Holy Spirit to talk to me, but I don't hear it. He's talking to you. You just aren't listening. That's the issue. We're not listening, and we need to. And the only way we can listen is like we stay in the word of the Lord. Because, you know, if you do, you, you when you're reading scriptures, those things just jump alive they come alive you know so you know you have the holy spirit when you're reading scriptures and the scriptures literally jump off the page and come alive in your head in your spirit the holy spirit spirit dwells in you he does and he loves you okay all right god bless you guys you know i plead the blood of jesus over this video uh please discern all my videos i i won't take no offense because that's what the lord tells us to do to discern everything you know and i'm no prophet i'm just a, a watchman on the wall warning his people the people that jesus loves very very much well god bless you guys have a great day okay be safe stay indoors it's after before 7 p.m all right god bless you bye bye